Hello there boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 11.3, Measure and Draw Angles. Our essential question is, how can you use a protractor to measure and draw angles? Please write this down in your notes. Do you see this tool right here? This is called a protractor. A protractor is a tool for measuring the size of any angle. Do you see this dancer right here? She is making with her arms, kind of like what we do in class when we want to show an obtuse angle. We're going to call this angle DCE. And we want to find the measurement of her angle. So we can use this protractor to find out. Now here's how you use a protractor. Step one is that you want to align the center point and the vertex. Do you see this circle right here on the protractor? That's where you're going to stick the vertex of your angle. Now remember, the vertex is where our two rays come together to make a point, and that's called the vertex. That's going to be put directly in the little circle on your protractor. Then there's this line right here. We call this the zero line, and that's what we're going to line up one of our rays. Once you put the zero line on one of your rays, then you're ready to start measuring your angle. Now, first of all, I'm going to guess that this has to be obtuse because if I look at it, I know it's greater than a 90 degree angle. See how it's greater? Therefore, I know it's going to be an obtuse angle. So I'm going to start right here where I see my zero, and I'm just going to start counting up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There's my right angle. 100, 110, 120. That answer does make sense. I'm going to say the measure of angle DCE is 120. And that's how I would read this. The measure of angle DCE is 120 degrees. Let's try some more. Now, do you see this error alert right here? Let's read that. It says, be sure to use the correct scale on the protractor. Ask yourself, is the measure reasonable? In other words, if I were to look at this angle A, B, C, and I would look at my protractor, and I see that it's between 110 and 120, so I guess 115 degrees, well, is that reasonable? No, it's not, because I know it has to be less than 90 degrees, because I know it's an acute angle. Therefore, since it's an acute angle, I know it's got to be smaller than 90 degrees. So I want to look at my protractor, pretend that we had this angle and we put our protractor right on top of it. I'm going to line up my vertex right where the circle's at, place this ray directly on this line provided for me, and that sets me up to read the angle. Now I'm going to look at the outside angle, or the outside measuring for this one, I'm going to start with 0, and I'm going to count up 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 65. I'm going to say it's about approximately 65 degrees. So I would say that the angle measurement of ABC is 65 degrees. Now what I did was I placed the center of the protractor on point B. I aligned ray BC with the zero line, and then I'm going to read where the ray AB intersects with the same scale. So the measurement of ABC is 65 degrees. And it makes sense because it's an acute angle. So let's take a look at this one. As you can see, Step one, we want to align our vertex directly where that little circle will be. Step two, I'm going to place this ray directly on the line provided for me. See how you have a long line and it's provided for you so I know it ends up with a zero. Now I'm going to have step three. Step three is where I estimate. I say I know this is going to be an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees, so I need to have my angle less than 90 degrees. And you always want to start with a zero, and you just start counting up. 10, 20, 30. So I could say the measure of angle A, 
B, C is going to be 30 degrees. Let's try some more on your own now. Take a look at this one. I have a protractor provided for you. I've already lined up your vertex and your zero line. Now all you have to do is estimate first, is it less than 90 degrees or greater than 90 degrees? Is it acute or obtuse or right? Then you're going to look at your scale and figure out what your degrees are. Go ahead and pause the video and write your answer down and we'll see if we match. Alright, if you said that the angle is measured at 75 degrees, you were correct. And I know that it's less than a 90 degree angle, therefore I know I am correct because as I count up my scale, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and it comes directly between 70 and 80. Therefore, I'm going to say it's going to be 75 degrees. All right, take a look at this angle on this protractor. Look and see where the vertex is lined up, and look and see where we lined up the zero line with this ray, and then I want you to estimate, is it obtuse or acute? Or right. And then I want you to figure out your degrees. Go ahead and pause the video and write down your answer. Alright, for this answer you should have said that your angle measurement equals 140 degrees. And I'm going to quickly show you why. Once we lined up our zero ray, or our ray on the zero line, uh, then you're going to just count up. You're going to start with 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40. That makes sense because it's an obtuse angle, so it's greater than 90 degrees. Now I hope that you did not look at this and automatically think 40 degrees. Remember, you have to ask, does my answer make sense? Because I know this is obtuse, I know it's got to be the larger degrees, 140 degrees. Okay, go ahead and try to pause the video and make your estimation by the type of angle it is, and then write your answer down and we'll check together. Alright, for this one, you should have said that this angle measurement is going to be 15 degrees. I know this because it's an acute angle. It's a small angle. And if you look, I start at zero after I've lined up my ray on the zero line. I'm going to start counting with zero, and I'm going to go 10, and it's halfway between 10 and 20. So I would say this is about 15 degrees. I hope you got this one right too. So here are your three homework questions. Question number one says, the protractor is a tool that measures what? A, length, B, time, C, angles, D, weight. Number two, look at angle A, B, C, and I want you to measure this angle and write it down. And then let's look at question number three, what is the measure of this angle? All right, and I want you to write this angle measurement down. And I want you to be ready to come to class tomorrow, ready to discuss your three answers. Again, don't forget, you need to assess yourself in the corner box. I will be looking for that when I come around and check homework. Are you a novice on this topic? Are you an apprentice? Are you a practitioner? Or are you the expert? Okay, go ahead and assess yourself and answer these three questions. And don't forget to bring your packet to school tomorrow. All right, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have fun measuring with protractors.